Welcome to the AI drug discovery revolution. Hey guys, I bet you've never thought about how AI could help create the next life-saving drug, have you? Well, buckle up because we're about to dive into the mind-blowing world of generative AI in drug and vaccine discovery. This isn't just some sci-fi fantasy, it's happening right now, and it's completely changing the game in pharmaceuticals. Get ready to have your mind blown. So why is AI such a big deal in drug discovery? Well, imagine trying to find a needle in a haystack, except the haystack is the size of the entire universe, and you're looking for a specific molecule that could cure cancer. That's basically what traditional drug discovery is like. But here's where AI comes in. It's like having a super smart robot that can search through that cosmic haystack at lightning speed. AI is transforming every step of the drug discovery process, from identifying potential targets to designing molecules and even predicting how they'll behave in the human body. It's making everything faster, cheaper, and more efficient. We're talking about cutting down research time from years to months or even weeks in some cases. It's not just evolutionary, it's revolutionary. Okay, let's break it down. What exactly is generative AI? Well, it's a type of artificial intelligence that can create new things. In our case, new molecules. It's like giving a computer the ability to dream up new drugs. But how does it work? It all starts with machine learning, where we feed tons of data about existing molecules into the AI. The AI then learns patterns and rules about what makes a good drug molecule. Now here's where it gets really cool. There are different types of generative models, like JANs, VAEs, and diffusion models. Don't worry if these sound like alphabet soup. The key thing is that they all have different ways of coming up with new ideas. GANs, for example, are like having two AIs play a game of molecular cops and robbers. One tries to create fake molecules, while the other tries to spot the fakes. Through this back and forth, they both get better and better at understanding what real, useful molecules look like. Now let's get into the really mind-bending stuff. How AI actually grows molecules. Imagine you're playing with the world's most advanced LEGO set, except instead of plastic bricks, you're using atoms and chemical bonds. That's basically what the AI is doing, but in a virtual space called the latent space. This latent space is like the AI's imagination playground, where it can dream up and tweak molecules to its heart's content. The AI doesn't just randomly stick atoms together though. It uses something called optimization loops. It's like if you were trying to build the perfect Lego castle, and you had a magical helper that could instantly tell you how good your design was and suggest improvements. The AI creates a molecule, tests it against what we know makes a good drug, then tweaks it and tries again. It does this millions of times in seconds, evolving better and better molecules with each iteration. It's evolution on steroids. Let's look at a real-world example that'll knock your socks off. In 2020, researchers used AI to discover a powerful new antibiotic they named Halicin. Now, you might be thinking, big deal, we discover new antibiotics all the time, right? Wrong. Before this, the last new class of antibiotics was discovered in the 1980s. That's how hard it is to find new ones. Here's the kicker. The AI screened over 100 million chemical compounds in just a few days and found this molecule that no human had ever considered as an antibiotic before. And get this, Hallison can kill some of the most dangerous antibiotic-resistant bacteria we know of. It's like the AI looked at the problem with fresh eyes and found a solution hiding in plain sight. This isn't just cool science, it could literally save millions of lives. Now let's talk about something that's been on everyone's mind lately. Vaccines, specifically mRNA vaccines like the ones for COVID-19. You might be surprised to learn that AI played a huge role here too. Creating an mRNA vaccine is like writing a genetic instruction manual for your cells. This is where AI swoops in like a superhero. It can analyze tons of potential mRNA sequences and predict which ones will work best. For the COVID-19 vaccines, AI helped optimize the mRNA sequence to make it more stable and easier for our cells to read. All right, so you're probably wondering, what kind of supercomputers do these scientists use for all this AI magic? Well, the cool thing is, a lot of the tools are actually open source and available to anyone with a decent computer and some coding skills. There are frameworks like DeepChem, which is like a Swiss army knife for AI in chemistry and biology. Then there's the OpenAI API, which lets you tap into some seriously powerful AI models. But wait, there's more. Remember AlphaFold? That's the AI that made headlines by solving the protein folding problem. Now, scientists are integrating tools like AlphaFold into their AI drug discovery pipelines. It's like we're building a dream team of AI tools, each with its own superpower, working together to discover new drugs. And the best part? 
This isn't some far off future tech, it's happening right now, and it's only getting better. Now I know what you're thinking. This all sounds too good to be true. What's the catch? Well, you're right to be skeptical. AI in drug discovery isn't all sunshine and rainbows. There are some serious challenges we need to tackle. First up is data quality. You know the saying garbage in, garbage out? Well, that applies to AI too. If we feed it bad data, it'll give us bad results. And in drug discovery, bad results could mean wasted time and resources, or worse, dangerous drugs. Then there's the issue of bias. But don't let those challenges get you down, because the future of AI in pharma is incredibly exciting. We're seeing the emergence of multimodal models that can integrate different types of data, genetic, proteomic, clinical, to get a more holistic view of diseases and potential treatments. It's like giving the AI not just a magnifying glass, but a whole suite of scientific instruments to work with. Now you might be thinking, this is all amazing, but what does it mean for me? Well, whether you're a student, a scientist, or just someone interested in the future of medicine, you can be part of this revolution. There are tons of open source tools and online courses where you can start learning about AI and drug discovery. Who knows, you might end up being the one to discover the next big breakthrough. And there you have it, folks. Generative AI is totally revolutionizing how we discover and develop new drugs and vaccines. It's making the process faster, cheaper, and potentially more effective than ever before. Remember, this isn't just cool science. It could lead to treatments that save millions of lives. So whether you're a future scientist, a curious student, or just someone who loves learning about cutting-edge tech, there's never been a more exciting time to dive into the world of AI and drug discovery. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more mind-blowing science.